Papa Murphy's $5 raves. Oh, faves. Too bad it's not a $5 rave. Anyway. Family store. They're busy as shit. Oh, uh, this might be useless, but I haven't been here in a while. Oh, there's snow in that fucking parking spot. Um, all right. See you inside. Guess it's some special day, purple tag day or something, so that's why it's so packed up here. Check out their case first. Got one Genesis for 20 bucks. Smash controller, Space Invaders, WrestleMania 2000. I wonder what's under Space Invaders. I can't tell. Maybe. I can't tell, but I ain't buying loose cart shit anyway, so. We still got 500 TVs. <laughs> this Disney thing is. That's a DVD player? That's pretty damn big, but I guess it's for kids, so. Not seeing a whole lot. Hey, wait a second. All right, Tecmo Super Baseball for $3. No instruction. Say la vie. I ain't getting that. Gentlemen, ladies, welcome back. Sandum Todd here on Sandum Todd's channel. Um, doing uh, our first pickups video of the 2001-3. Uh, thought uh, I'd uh, do last week's as well as this week's because I didn't make it to the um, to do the video till the middle of the week, and then I kind of was like, well. I'll hold off and wait till this weekend and then do the video for both this weekend and last weekend. And I got a couple of things this weekend, but most notably, I got a new flip camera. Not new, new to me. Uh, I got it at the pawn shop, though. Um, so we can start making our filming, you know, our trips again, instead of just having me sitting in this chair all the time. Uh... And uh, so, anyway, without uh, wasting a lot of time, uh, here it is. It's nothing special. It's a little flip cam. Uh, it's kind of similar to my original. I, I have nostalgia for the old one, so I didn't throw it away yet. But um, it's just barely a little bit shorter than the one that I had. Um, this one seems like it re has a longer record time. And maybe it doesn't use the batteries quite as bad, which is cool. Uh, but uh, there's no way for me to tell uh, if it's recording in like a 640 by 480 or something smaller. I think it just records in one format. It actually records in MP4 format, but the cover comes off the front and the batteries uh, go into that. And then there's a lock button on the bottom of this that locks this little cover down so it won't come off on you. But... um. I actually filmed a couple of things with this. That's how I know it films in MP4 format. It looks like it was uh, re recording at 640 by 480. Um, but, you know, I think it was worth it. It was $22. I think I paid close to 30 for this one originally. Now, the screen on my old one flipped out like this, so you could turn it around like this when you're recording. Um, but this one doesn't do that. But at the same time... Uh, that's cool because this one doesn't have a red light on the front that I have to worry about. Uh, so, I think this will do. I think I, what I shot, I haven't viewed it yet, but I think it will be pretty good. So, actually, this is kind of the pickup of the day was this flip cam. This is the old one. And uh, we'll start being able to do some store vids again, you know, out to vintage stock when we go and out to the thrifts. Now, I hit... Uh, both pawn shops and two thrift stores today and thrift stores were dry as hell but pawn shops I found that camera today which is nice um, it, I, it was a little wider so I figured that it took the AA batteries but I couldn't figure out where the battery case was originally but 
you know, I was like, well, it can't be too hard. At most, maybe it'll charge through the USB, which flips up like this, and I thought maybe it might charge uh, through the USB uh, instead of, you know, and have an internal battery, but it actually does run off the, re off the double A's, which, you know, you can use rechargeables, or if you're stuck out in the middle of, you know, somewhere, and you don't have a, you know, recharger, you can throw uh, just regular batteries in it, and it'll work, so, you know, I like that, so. Um, anyway, while we were at the pawns, we did look at games, but they didn't really have anything. This one guy was, like, hoarding all the 360 games. Uh, he looked like he was maybe about, about my age, maybe a little older, uh, but he had on this big winter coat, and he's holding, like, 12, uh, uh, 360 games in his sleeve like this, and he's, like, looking through them like this, so, like, nobody else could touch these ones he had here, because he's, like, holding on to them while he's going through all of them, and I'm like, okay, you know, and I'm like, are you really gonna buy all those, is what I'm thinking when I'm standing there, uh, not that he was holding anything of consequence to me, um, but, at the same time, I was like, dude, you're standing right in the middle of the freaking spot where they have all the games. You're holding your games like this, and you have this huge winter coat on, so nobody can even really get to anything, you know. So I started looking at the movies because I was like, well, I'm going to wait for this jackhole to move. Um, and he ended up putting all the games down, but like two eventually and walking off. I think he bought Gears of War 3 and something else and uh, walked off, but... Uh, while I was standing uh, over at the uh, movies, I was looking around, and I had just recently uh, rewatched the movie Apollo 13 with Tom Hanks and uh, Gary Sinise, Bill Pax, and all those guys, uh, Kevin Bacon's in it, Ed Harris. It's just got a lot of guys in it, and you know, it's about the mission that was supposed to go to the moon that went tragically wrong, and they uh, pull everybody, you know, pulls together and gets these guys home, so... It just, it was really, you know, kind of cool to see it again. I hadn't seen it in a while. and But I, re, I was, like, sitting there, and I was like, Tom Hanks, you know, is a solid actor. He's always been a good actor. Uh, anything I've seen him in, I've always thought he was good. Kind of like Will Smith. Anything I've seen Will Smith in, I've always thought he did a pretty good job. Uh, so I was like, I'm going to keep my eye out for some more Tom Hanks flicks. Well, I, I have some, but I didn't have this one on DVD and my, my roommate had it, and we used to have a uh, kind of a, you know, unspoken uh, prom, and, uh, you know, kind of word between each other that if uh, we uh, bought a DVD, the other people person would buy something else, so we could have, like, double the size of our collection, you know. Uh, so he had a lot of movies that I never had. Uh, some of them I've bought since, and some of them I still need to get, like the Back to the Future trilogy and things like that, but... Anyway, uh, this was one that he had for a long time. I went and saw this at the theater, and it's one of the few movies that I actually got up in the middle of the movie and went out and went to the bathroom and, like, got something to drink and shit and came back. And I don't know if I was bored or it was just the type of movie it was or what, but um, I've since seen it at home, and I, I enjoy it. I don't, I, at the time, I don't know uh, why, but I just, I, I had to go to the bathroom, and I was like, I'm not going to sit in here and try to make it to the end of this thing. But anyway, it's the movie uh, Castaway. Um, I think I got up right before he found the piece to the uh, porta potty that he uses for the wings, or for the sail. Not wings, he paints wings on it. Spoiler alert. Um, but uh, I haven't seen it in a long time, and, you know, looking back on it, I think maybe I was a little too critical on it. So I saw it for $2, and it was complete. And uh, I don't know if I just opened it and didn't show you all or whether <laughs> I was so into the moment uh, that I didn't do it. But anyway, um, that movie is pretty good. There's a few movies over time that I think I've been kind of hard on that I've uh, lightened up a little bit on. And I enjoy them more now than I used to. One of them was Gladiator. For some reason, I just... I like the fighting portions, but the other portions drug so bad that I just I couldn't couldn't hardly stand it and uh what was there, some, there a couple more um mission impossible 2 the tom hanks tom hanks tom cruise mission impossible 2 at the time i saw it i was a little bit uh critical of it 
but ba mainly for the story and it wasn't any it felt everything felt different from the first movie and so if this one just felt more like an action flick so I was a little harder on it but I think over time I, I even own that movie now as well it's just one of those and gladiator it's just one of those things that when I saw it I just might have been in a weird mood or or whatever and just didn't really enjoy it but I was kind of that way with Castaway, but I do enjoy it now, so I'm glad to have it in the collection. So I w went over to the next pawn shop. I uh, went in there, looked at their games. They didn't have jack shit. Um, it looked like maybe they had a couple more um, PS2 games, but the one that I saw off the top of my head was Wolverine's Revenge, and I already have that one. So it was like, and there was a hit, some Hitman game, I think, and I was like, yeah, I'm not a big Hitman fan. So I just didn't even really look at their um, games and stuff for too long. But at the same time, I went over to the DVDs and was looking because their Blu-rays they have marked up a little hot, a little more expensive. But the um, regular DVDs are only two bucks. So uh, I found another uh, zombie flick. I wasn't sure, not another one, but I I knew this one, but I didn't know whether I had it on DVD or not. Uh, it's just one of those movies that. I was confused between um, one that I had and this one. I've seen this, but it's uh, Diary of the Dead, the zombie flick. Now, zombies, in my opinion, are, are one of my favorite kind of uh, horror movie type of people. But lately, it just I'm just getting kind of sick of everything having a zombie mode or zombie this or zombie that. It's just... It's starting to make me like the genre a little, a little less, and it kind of bums me out. So I've been trying not to watch as much of it because I want to keep it, you know, sacred, I guess. Uh, so I've been trying not to watch too much of the of the stuff other than maybe The Walking Dead show and, and really trying to steer away from a lot of the zombie games and stuff. But... Um, there, are, there is a couple that I want, but I'm not getting them just yet. But this movie, I wasn't sure if I had this, Diary of the Dead, or I had, um... Oh, it's got those weird safety snaps on the side. Or I had, um... The one that I had, which is the Zombie Diaries, which isn't as good, but... Uh, in my opinion, but... Uh, this was two bucks, so I was like, hey, I don't know if I have it or not, but, uh... I'll spend two bucks and take a chance, and I didn't have it, so... And I already cleaned all these uh, DVDs uh, and cleaned that camera, you know. I had to wipe wipe it off and stuff. Especially this time of year, is pretty germy, so I was just like, well... And you don't know how many people came in there and asked to see it and picked it up and looked at it. And, you know, you just got to get it cleaned off, but... Uh, the final movie quote-unquote, that I picked up is actually a two-disc DVD set with two different movies. Um, so this is actually like getting them each for a dollar. I've seen one of them, and I haven't seen one of them, but I'll go ahead and show you. It's um, the double feature of SWAT and BASIC. I've seen BASIC. It's got Samuel Jackson and John Travolta in it and a few other notables. Um, it's a good movie. Uh, it's a, a military kind of... Uh, who done it kind of deal, and uh, it's really uh, kind of interesting. I I enjoy uh, the movie Basic, so if you want a good kind of military who done it, because this mission goes on an away there's an away mission, and then they come back and there's only one guy I think left alive. I'm trying to remember. I think there's only one guy left alive, and he's not giving up all the information. So they're trying to figure out what went on. And uh, SWAT I haven't seen, but I remember uh, seeing the trailer for it a long time ago. So we're going to uh, give SWAT a watch, SWAT watch, and uh, see if it's worth a darn. Um, I don't know. It couldn't be too bad. But, yeah, it could. <laughs> you never can tell. So. Uh, so now we're getting back to last weekend. Um Actually, I'm trying to remember where I got what. Um, I think I got these two. Okay. Um, I, when I went to the first pawn shop, the one I got the camera at today, uh, they had some PS2 games last weekend. I was kind of surprised. And they still had the majority of them there. They had, like, a Cabela's game and 
um, Ford Racing Pro or something, and uh, uh, Gran Turismo and something else. And I just don't care for racing games at all. But they had these, and I decided to go ahead and pick them up. Uh, they're PlayStation 2, so they were two bucks a piece. Um, first one, I picked up another one of these Bond games. Uh, I, I don't, I don't mind the games. They're actually pretty cool, but I'm not a huge Bond movie guy. Uh, so I don't know a whole lot about, uh, this, uh, this, uh, movie. So I'll go ahead and show it. I'm trying to remember the guy's name. I think it's Daniel Craig or something, but Quantum of Solace 007 for the, uh, PS2. Um, character models look pretty good for the PS2. I'm thinking this had to have been pretty late in the day uh, for this uh, game. But for $2, uh, the instruction book it looks like maybe it was taken out of here one time. And the disc, I see just like one little scratch on it. And otherwise, it's like perfect. So, Quantum of Silas. Uh, the second game is a fighting game. Uh, I had picked up uh, a couple of this series recently for the PS2, so I figured why not keep it going, and we picked up Tekken Tag Tournament. Now, I picked up Tekken 4 and 5 recently, and uh, this one is a tournament fighter, I guess. Um, it, lo it looks like you can play four people at the same time in the same room, and... Uh, Here's the game and the book. The book looks pretty fat on this, actually. Um, and uh, there's a little bit of marker on the game right there, but I think I can get that off with a uh, magic eraser um, sponge. So $2 for that one. Pretty cool. Um, it seems like lately I've been buying these games a fistful at a time, so I haven't been getting to them as quick as... Uh, I'd like so a lot of times some of these have been sitting around and I don't know why uh, I bought them <laughs> you know because I'm like I'm not even playing them but uh, this one uh, definitely I wanted it was the one I wanted out of all of these uh, the most I don't have the second one I don't remember if I even have the first one but I went ahead and got it and that is a uh, Jack 3 Jack and Dexter um, this is the third one um, I'm trying not to put the games in too close to the camera because I know it gets kind of shadowy. Uh, I noticed that the last couple of videos I've done. So I'm trying to throw a little different lighting on there and uh, keep the games out of the shadows. It's got a nice thick instruction booklet in the game. There's no writing on this one or anything. And uh, it's pretty, it's got a few little swirly scratches. Not very minor surface scratching, but looks pretty good. So. Jack 3, uh, I don't know if out of the series uh, how good that one is compared to the other two in this and that. If you all want to tell me uh, about Jack 3 or Quantum of Solace, I am interested uh, if this is a decent uh, buy. I know they probably had it for the 360 and uh, maybe the PS3 as well. Um, and the Tech and Tag Tournament. Um, so I picked those three up. It was like six forty something last weekend. Uh, I bought those, and then um, I went over to the other one, uh, and uh, I didn't find any PS2 games. I was looking there, but they had the 360. This is the one I think where the guy had the sleeve full and was like looking at them. Um, last weekend I was in there and I was looking through them, and they didn't really have a lot. But it seems like a lot of times they have a shitload of Wii games and like about half as many. 360 and PS3 games, and they just have a few of the last geners, um, and uh, I usually buy those. So, anyway, uh, as we were looking through them, uh, a last gen game actually was snuck in with the 360 titles. It's not really snuck in, but it was up with them instead of down with the last gens, and I couldn't pass this one up, uh, even though I already have it on the uh, PlayStation 2, and um, the reason why is I think I was talking to uh, somebody a while back. I'm pretty sure it was LMA187 that a long time ago that told me that the this game on the Xbox had like more content or or something. Uh, and so I went ahead and picked it up. 
uh, for the Xbox, even though I already had it, uh, based on what I, my hazy memory that I have that this might have more content or, or something. And uh, that game is Silent Hill 2. Um, they had it originally for $7.99 at some point, but then they put the $1.99 clearance. They don't even put that on there anymore, the clearance thing, because they just made all the last gens a dollar ninety nine. So you won't see like a eight dollar price tag on them usually. I was surprised this one. This means this one been sitting there a while. It was probably because it was mixed in with the ones up above or whatever. And if you see that seven ninety nine on there, and you're like, no, I don't think so. But it does have the instructions and the game. Um, this game I've actually had for the PS2 on two different occasions. I bought it once and then sold it and then bought it again. Um, and now I bought it for the PS2. So I bought this game three times <laughs> in my life. So one of these days I'd actually play it. <laughs> um, getting to the end here, and I'm kind of glad. I'm starting to feel kind of run down. I just feel like, I don't know, last night. I just had like a stomach bug or something. My stomach was just bothering me really bad. It felt like I was going to get sick. I never did, but it's because I took some like stuff to calm calm your stomach down and stuff. And I was able to kind of just, you know, sleep it off overnight. But today I still kind of feel just a little bit kind of iffy. I think it's because yesterday the weather was like 65 degrees and today it's like 30 something I mean, it's just the that kind of fluctuation in temperature just drives your sinuses and everything just freaking nuts. But I'm going to try to wrap this up because we're getting in the 20-minute marks here. Um, this is the last game I picked up. Uh, it wasn't that expensive. I think it was like, this one was like, it was under 10. We'll just say it was under 10. I think it was 8.99. Uh, that I'm getting confused because I just was looking at that seven ninety nine on that, but um, I've been wanting to play this for a long time. I've never played it, and uh, they have the second one out now, and it was one of the top ten games of this year, I think. But uh, this is the first one, the original, and that's Arkham Asylum, and uh, this is actually one of those Walmart. Arkham Asylum, you know, where certain places like Best Buy or Walmart would have exclusives to certain armor, or this or that, if you bought certain games from them. I remember one of the Dragon Ages was the same way. You got certain something special if you bought it at a certain place or not, but I'm sure that's gone. The instructions are in here, but actually the disc, when I opened it up, is a Platinum Hits uh, which I, usually I would be like, yeah, but this is the Game of the Year edition. So I don't know if the Game of the Year edition is better uh, than the, you know, whether you get more content or whatever with the Game of the Year edition. So I'm okay with it being Platinum Hits uh, because of that. So I just don't know when I'll get to it because I'm still trying to play through XCOM and I want to play Singularity and I want to play... Uh, need to finish Dragon Age and I don't have a pile of shame folks I've got a fucking mountain it's so big uh, probably I would say less than 25 percent of all the games I own I've actually played through and beat so I don't know how many I have so I can't really I can't really tell you uh, if that's bad or not excuse me damn stomach so, folks, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for coming by. Uh, uh, glad to have you. And uh, if you're a new subscriber, uh, glad to have you. And I uh, hope you hang out for a while. And anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, we've got the tools to make the vids now. So hopefully we can uh, start maybe going back out to the stores a little bit and get some get some shooting done. So by shooting, I mean filming. <laughs> so uh, talk to you all later. And uh, see you next vid. Bye.